you probably heard about the great news that Canva now has drop shadows and it is so, so, so exciting. But there's a few things that you need to know first. So thing number one that you need to know is that these shadows seem to work with only images that you import into Canva, that you upload to Canva. So here, um, I'm in my uploads right now. That's what you see here on the left. So um, I have these two images I'm trying to resize. Okay, so now they're both the same size. And these are PNG images that I um, uploaded to Canva. So when I click on this image and I click on effects, I'm going to see here the option for the drop shadows. But um, before you do that, if you haven't done this before, you'll see on this list right here on the left, shadows will be here at the bottom. It says something like shadows, something like that. So when you click on that, it'll take you to connect your account. I don't know what that's about, but anyway, I click connect and they put the shadows right here. That's why I see them here. You might not see them immediately here. Before you do that, make sure to click on um, the shadow button here and then click connect for them to pop up here. So with this image here selected, I'm going to click on see all to see what it's giving me, the options that it's giving me. I'm going to do a simple drop shadow. There we go. So now we have a drop shadow. Now, something that I noticed is if you want to change the shadow, don't just click on something else. If you decide, oh, I don't want a drop shadow, I want a backdrop, because what it does is it keeps a drop shadow and adds the backdrop. Let me show you what I mean. There we go. So now you have like a, a bit of a drop shadow and the backdrop here. You have two different shadows instead of one um, replacing the other. So I'm going to click back, back, back okay that should be just fine so just be uh careful with that so again with this selected i'm going to click where it says effects again see all let's do let's do drop shadow then when i click again see it gives you an option here to edit and customize that drop shadow i'm going to bring transparency a little bit down i don't want it so dark I'm going to bring up the blur. Awesome. And you might not see, you know, a lot of different, um, um, like, like a big change is what I'm trying to say, but it's there. It's there. So let's click on shadows again. Now I want to do the same thing with this other one right here. I'm going to click on see all. I'm going to create a drop shadow and I'm going to play with it. A little bit they're not gonna be the same because I forgot to look at the numbers but anyway this look this could look about right there so now this one seems to be on top so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one position forward and then just put it here and now when I look at both and make them a little bit bigger now I can see the shadow see one on top of the other and it looks like these two are stacked now let me add a page here it doesn't really work with shapes see i just added a shape and it doesn't give me the option it doesn't also work let me click on featured and add something let's add this girl right here um, see, it doesn't give me the option to do that either. It seems to only be working with pictures, PNGs, um, just assets that you upload to Canva rather than with existing elements here or even with the shapes. So keep that in mind, um, start playing with it and let me know what happens.